reading from Colossians boldly proclaims, whatever your task, put yourselves into it as done for the Lord and not for your masters. Can you hear the faint echo of the Jesuit motto, all for the greater glory of God? When I first sat to reflect on this scripture, I was reminded of a retreat I made many years ago when I was a young mother, still dealing with the day-to-day care of a baby and toddlers at home. The sister leading the retreat was talking about prayer and doing all things with love. Basically, she suggested that whatever task I had before me, I was meant to do it with love and consider it my prayer. So when she offered the idea that changing a diaper could be a prayer, it transformed how I saw my day-to-day life. I had been overwhelmed with my life at the time, and I was on retreat because I so needed to refill my cup. Because of her invitation to see my daily tasks as prayer, I suddenly realized all the ways my daily life of caring for my babies was glorifying God. I indeed was praying a lot, for once I began to look at my tasks through the lens of love, I could see much more of my life as prayer and a way to honor God and creation. And I don't remember, to be honest, that the sister attributed any of this to Ignatius of Loyola or even the notion of the Magis. But as I look back, it is certainly the lesson I learned that stuck with me and helped me to begin seeing all my life through a different lens long before I was exposed to Ignatian spirituality. Magis is a Latin adverb for more. This was a word that Ignatius and the Jesuits traditionally used, suggesting the spirit of generous excellence in which ministry should be carried out. It is vastly different from the understanding that contemporary society associates with doing more. Our highly competitive society always thinks of doing more, in order to get ahead. Students today strive to be in multiple clubs, sports and programs, etc. often just in an effort to have great applications for colleges or graduate school to prove that they are indeed better than another. Once in the workforce, the more extends to staying late and doing more than our colleagues in order to get ahead. But this is not what we mean when we speak of the Magis. The Magis is actually what underlies the motto associated with the Jesuits, ad majorem de glorium, all for the greater glory of God. Doing all things, all tasks for God, not another master. Always keeping this idea foremost in our minds. For the Jesuits and those who embrace Ignatian spirituality, We often speak of the Magis making decisions about which work or ministry to choose, that we should opt for that which is conducive to the greater service of God and the universal good. The fundamental idea is that we try to do the more, the better, the greater for God, not for ourselves, not being attached to the ego, but being motivated by our deep love and friendship with God. Jesuit Jim Martin explains how this plays out in our individual lives will differ depending on our unique circumstances. It doesn't mean simply quantity, as in a parent folding more and more and more diapers, as if to win some sort of contest. But the parent folding diapers and caring for the child may try to do it with more love for not only the child, but for God. Believe me, when I read this after I had reflected on my own experience, I was pretty delighted by his example. For it is a more that comes with humility. It's not about trying to be the best at something or the greatest, but to offer more of me. How can I love without limit the way God loves me without limit? There is no achieving here. We're always striving Ultimately, it is an itch to be a better lover in the world. If the question is, as Jesuit David Fleming suggests, what more does God want of me? The answer that I hear is simply more of me loving in the now, in the places, situations, communities, etc. that God has put me in at the moment. What is God putting on my heart today? This is why the examine is such a helpful prayer tool. 
that I give all of me today to those I serve, work with, care for. It is not necessarily, as some might think, a decision to give up my life as I know it and to serve as a missionary and give all of me in a different way, but perhaps more so, it is to strive to always give more, myself fully to the work and ministry that's before me. Where am I needed to be more present? It helps me become the person God has called me to be. The process of becoming more me and then also more in union with God. Majas calls to depth and quality in what we do and invites us to consider how we might serve the world better with fire, passion, and with zeal. So for me, I think Majas is an attitude. How we approach our living, when we awake in the morning looking out at our day, are we ready to offer ourselves for God's greater glory by coming to our day with the Majas in mind? Not about just doing more, but it is the quality of what we are doing and how well we are connecting with God in the doing. So the beauty of embracing the Majas is that we are able to see more clearly God in all things. We become more in tune with God in everything and everyone. God is present and we can boldly claim all for the greater glory of God. So let us pray today that God helps us live each day with an attitude of majesty.